Hey, how you feeling? Uh, a little banged up, but I'll be all right. Because you seem a little distracted. <laughs> Me? What about Jane? She came out of nowhere. This news about her health, Wella's recovery, she's going through it. You're going through a lot right now, too. I heard you listening to Tasha's voicemail this morning. That was an old message. It's... You're allowed to miss her. I just wish I knew where she was. She's in Zurich. I didn't want to say anything until I knew for sure, but the chime on the message, it sounded familiar. Sorry I haven't returned your calls. I don't want you to worry, I'm fine. I just need to go away for a while. So we did a little digging, and it's the sound their trams make. That's where she is, or at least where she was. It's a start. Wait, uh, hang on. I was actually thinking now might be a good time to talk about, you know, Zapata. Why, you got a location? No, I mean, talk about Zapata. Betraying us as friends and more than friends. Look, like I said, when you know something, let me know. Yeah, but what about what White said? White said and treated like a suspect, so that's what we do, all right? You don't actually believe anything. It doesn't matter what I believe. If you have some intel on her whereabouts, then put it in a report. Otherwise, we have nothing to discuss. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Lockdown is completely lifted. Laurel was the only casualty, and no other infected personnel, and... Pentagon is denying all knowledge of Beck's rogue operation. Of course they are. All right. Thanks, Patterson. Hey, um, about Zapata. Let's say we talk about her. Um, I haven't slept since I saw the photo of her meeting with Blake in Paris. I just lay there, wondering if she ever loved me or if I was just some mark to her this entire time. Whatever she has or hasn't done, before that, she was still Tasha. Our Tasha. And if she turned, it was after Keaton fired her. And she had feelings for you way before that. Trust me. She loved you. I've been calling you guys. Zapata's in Manhattan. We need to find her. What do you mean? What happened to your eye? I just spent the entire day with her, tied to a chair. Like an SM thing, or? She broke into my home. I'm getting sick and tired of Keaton telling us he's gonna handle it. He damn well better share some intel with us, and we're gonna find her, now. What? What is it? Keaton was shot today in the field. He's in a medically induced coma. You're not sure that he's gonna make it out. All right, Patterson sent out a nationwide FBI alert with a focus on the tri-state and sent forensic over to my place. She wasn't alone. And I'm gonna need the two of you to do a digital analysis on the servers. I think she just accessed them. But those are unhackable. I know, I, I let her run. I, I, I didn't have a choice. Okay, we'll figure out what she took or gave us. Explain why I'm sneaking around getting you and the head of the FBI fake passports and tickets to Mexico? Whites and I tracked down Zapata. You and Whites? Weird. Turns out I'm surprisingly useful. Wait. If you're not actually suspended, then why did I have to do this under the radar? You had to keep it under the radar so the CIA wouldn't find out and follow us. Car's downstairs. I'll meet you down there. Whites is your backup? Does he even know how to fire a gun? Let's just hope he doesn't have to. Just be careful. Last time you saw Tasha, things didn't go so well. But I can't help you unless you... <laughs> well, last time, everything was on her terms. This time, it would be different. Just because she didn't pull the trigger before doesn't mean she won't do it now. I'm gonna bring her back in cuffs. Okay. Go get her. Look, okay, this is nice here, right? You're like one big happy family again. No more lies, no more drama. Let's go. I got 
your text. What's the verdict on Jane? Well, we can't just break the sacred bond of doctor-patient confidentiality. You're not a doctor. Please don't tell my mother. We're gonna wait for Jane and Muller. Yeah. How's it going with Zapata? Still not saying a word. <sighs> Sounds like her. Mm -hmm. How are you doing with everything? We'll get to the bottom of it. That's not what I meant. I know. Come on, guys. You can do this. Please work, everyone. Yes! Yes, Olga! Oh, that was close. Uh, oh, okay. Huh? Uh, I think I have a bit of an ulcer. Austin? Austin? What just happened? Uh, 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 the, the warehouse is... It's, it's gone. Boston, where's the potter? Where's the potter? I'm sorry. What? How did you... Like I said, how hard is it to push enter? Uh, oh. She's okay. The pot is alive. <laughs> Give us a lead. We need to track her down. You better hope it does. Unfortunately, Tasha was only able to upload a small amount of data. It was uh, super fragmented and scrambled. So you nearly got yourself killed for nothing. It's not nothing. Patterson can unscramble it, right? It's actually Patterson and Rich will be doing the unscrambling. I mean, since you've been deep cover, we've become quite the dynamic duo. Thelma and Louise, Han Solo and Chewbacca, ooh, Kathy Lee and Hoda, huh? Uh, we'll see what we can salvage, but I can't make any promises. All right. Ecuadorian authorities brought in the head of Alverson Aerospace. He's awaiting extradition. As for the company, they won't be getting their stingers into anything sinister anytime soon. No. Hey. I'm so sorry about Claudia. I'm really glad you're OK. Can we do anything? No. You guys are here. That's, that's enough. This might help. I was able to decode some of Dominic's messages that Claudia gave you. What did it say? All right, Barry says, sent you the Helios plans, got the device you asked for, and Dominic responded, I need it to be 10 times more powerful. Well, that certainly does sound terrifying. Well, we need to find this guy and take him down before he does any more damage. Helios is Madeline's plan. It, it was on her SD card, which means Dominic is still working for her. Zapata's right. Madeline might be locked up, but she is not done. We stop Dominic, we end this. We got a tattoo head. There was a data breach at a national research facility, Electro Velocity Center, or EVC. They build robotic spacecraft. It's like real life Star Wars over there. Shouldn't this be an FBI cyber case? It was, until we discovered that one of the stolen files links to a tattoo. It's a series of numbers that connects to a classified government project. So classified, they're refusing to tell us about it. I'll get us clearance. In the meantime, we do have a lead. CSU found this Bluetooth transmitter lodged in a pipe. It paired with an air gap network of computers on the 25th floor of EBC. Someone used this transmitter to transfer files to a hard drive that is still unaccounted for. We do have a list of all the people that were in the building when the breach occurred. Apparently, EBC was throwing a 50th anniversary party, so there are a lot of suspects all currently under house arrest. The devices were confiscated, so hopefully one of the stolen files will show up on one phone. OK, let's dig in. Hey, where are Jane and Weller? 